Hello everyone, my name is Manisha and I'm a personal trainer at Lily's Greek Clubhouse. Today I'm going to be taking you through some stretches to relieve your lower back pain, hip pain and hamstring stretches as well. Before we start, all you're going to need is a mat. If you don't have a mat, you can use your carpet or you can do these on your bed. But you don't need any equipment for this. You can do this with shoes or without shoes. These are pretty easy stretches to do. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start off with the seated hamstring stretch. So the way to do that is we're going to take one leg in, we're going to cross it in, and what we're going to do is we're going to stretch onto the opposite side, okay? So keep that leg nice and flat, back nice and straight. You're just going to lean forwards, keep this keep this knee nice and straight, and just lean down, point your toe towards you. If you this a mild stress, remember this is just our first stretch, so we don't need to be excessive with this. There we go. Okay, so how about for 10 seconds to start off with? Three, two, and one. Back we go. So back in, lean right down on a 20 second stretch. Really pushing that heel down into the floor, toe towards you. There we go. Once, just try and put this down. So that really stretches the hamstring. You feel a slight stretch in the back. Try and keep your shoulders nice and proud. There we go. Just going to feel a slight stretch just in the lower back. Obviously, if you can't reach your toe, just go as far as you can, okay? So three, two, one, back up. And then go back down for 30 seconds this time. You can have both your hands reaching through, okay? Go. Remember when you're stretching, even though you're not working out, you still need to inhale and exhale. So take a deep breath in and breathe out. Each time you breathe out, try and go a bit lower. You might find that it helps. So just 30 seconds. Just 10 seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. is you're going to lean in so face the wall so you may not be able to see all my legs but i'll explain to you face the wall lie down so lie completely down we're going to stretch the hamstrings again it's a nice easy exercise this will relieve lower back pain and it will also stretch the hamstrings so bring your glutes right up nice and close to the wall and then might take a bit of shuffling over Bring your glutes as close to the wall as possible and then put your legs nice and straight on the wall and just hold that and go for 20 seconds to the Then I can even pull myself closer to the wall. There we go. So make sure your glutes are right against the wall. Keep your hands nice and legs nice and straight. Take a deep breath in and out. This will relieve lower back pain. Glutes are on the floor and the feet are nice and straight. Keep the knees nice and straight. There we go. Gonna climb back for 30 seconds, so 15 seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. You can crawl it out, so bring that breath in. So that's one depth. We're going to do two more times, 30 second holds. So straighten those feet against the wall. Good, and keeping those glutes nice and straight. So for the last one, I will show you what it looks like from this side just so you can actually see what that looks like and how close the glutes are to the wall. So five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to snap as close as we can again, just so you can see a nice side view. It's quite tricky to get nice and close. But as you can see, it's quite hard to get your glutes up nice and close to the wall. So your glutes should be literally right over there. There we go. Once they're on the wall, get your feet nice up, nice and straight. Hands behind. And just take a deep breath in and out. Hands below behind, which is cross them over. And just try and get to the back. Just hold on for 30 seconds. Keeping those legs nice and flat. Keep the knees straight. You can do tip toes to point your toes up. We go keep holding amazing work it's really good to relieve lower back pain 
Take your eyes and try to keep this in and out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Try to get back down. Just move your feet down and cool back. It's easy to get into the exercise than it is to get out of it. So for our next stretch, we're going to be doing a back flexion stretch. So what that requires you to do is to lie down. So you're going to lie completely down onto the floor. So you're going to bring both knees in. So shoulders, your head should be completely down onto the floor. You're going to bring both legs in. Bend the knees and you're going to bring them into the chest. So you go, so you start off the line at the floor, bring your knees in and then bring your head forward. So back flexion stretch and breathe in and out. You're going to hold up for as long as you can. If your neck hurts, just lay your head down. So you can do jiggle like a kitten. So you're going to hold up for 10 seconds first. And then we'll go for a good 20 and then 10. So 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, this will help with the lower back pain, so you should feel that stretch at the bottom and then you can do it slightly. Three, two, one. Hands down, head down. Tuck them into the chest as far as you can. Bring your head forward if you like. You should feel the whole back stretch on this one. So if your neck is hurting, you can place your head down onto the floor. So this is going to be for 30 seconds. Remember, you don't want to pull harshly. Just a nice and gentle pull, just to feel a slight stretch in the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Seconds, I'm going to keep my head down, but if you like, you can put it up. There we go. Bring them into the chest as high as you can. And really, really push them into the chest so you feel that stretch in the lower back. Good, taking deep breaths in and out. Have it. So remember, just a gentle pull in, it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. There we go. Final 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Both legs down onto the floor, but this time only one knee comes into the chest, okay? So a good back stretch as well. So just hold it in, can start for 10 seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Back down. Going to do that again, back for 20 seconds this time. Bring that knee into the chest as far as you can. So as you can see, it's literally right close to the chest. There we go. Taking deep breaths in and out. As you breathe in, your stomach should expand. We breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. And when we breathe out, the stomach decompresses. Breathe in, stomach compresses and expands. Breathe out. Stomach gets smaller when you breathe out. So it expands when you breathe in and gets smaller. Three, two, one. Breath in, bring it in, and let it out. 30 seconds this time. I've got to say, what you can do with this exercise is play around with the angles in which you place the knee. So when you place the knee, you can either place it right into the centre. So if you can see, you can either place it into the centre or at an angle to the side. You'll stretch different parts of the back and you'll feel a stretch in the hamstring and the glutes. So you could always do variations of this exercise. Bear in mind, if you do have tight hip flexors, you want to stretch those as well after doing these. But I'll move on to those once we're finished. Three, two, and one to lie down. Hands straight up to the sides like a T-shirt. You're going to cross one knee up and rotate it over. Keep the leg on the floor down. This Shoulder on the opposite side needs to stay down onto the floor. You feel that stretch in the lower back and in the piriformis, which is around this region. Keep holding that for as long as you can hold it for. I'm going to try and show you a better angle so you can see what's going on. There we go. We had an, uh, an overview, so a, 
an aerial view, you get able to see this much better. So remember this is called a lion and knee piriformis stretch, because it stretches the glutes onto the side, but at the same time you're getting a stretch in the lower back. So the side back's inclined, so side back's up, you feel a stretch in the back. Gonna hold that for 10 seconds, come up, back to the line position, keep that other leg straight, back down, and we're gonna hold for 20 seconds again. Amazing work. Taking deep breaths in and out, keep having that stretch. Keep that knee on the floor, so the knee shouldn't be up. The stairs should be all the way down onto the floor. Come back. A shoulder behind, try and keep it down. If it is hanging slightly, you try and take it off. Try and keep it flat on the ground. If your knee can't come down, don't worry. It's going to help you keep it down. Three, two, one. Go for a 30 second stretch. Back again. That same knee down. The lower you are, the lower the knee is bent, the easier it will be. The higher, the more you feel that stretch. Those hands on the floor, keep those shoulders on the floor. You can feel the burn, feel the stretch, so breathe in and out. When you're stretching, you should always be in a mild discomfort. It shouldn't be a rough tug or pain. If it is, gently come out of the stretch and readjust. Three, two, and one. Okay, so legs straight out again. We are sitting in that position from before. But this time, straight leg up and cross it over. Keeping the leg as straight as you can and then reach out for it. Good. So I'm just going to rotate slightly so you can see what that stretch looks like. Here we go. I'll just reach out. That other leg is nice and behind. Hold that for 10. We're only going to do this for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And then knee, straighten it, and then back down nice and slowly. Closer you are to the leg that's down, the easier. The higher you get, keep that hand here. Feel that stretch a bit more. Okay, really feel this one in the glutes. If your knee is hurting, so you're feeling the tug of the back, bend the knee slightly. Three, two, one. these stretches to open up our hips. Those stretches we're going to adopt a similar position like I'm doing. So you could do the lizard position which I cannot do. <laughs> so I'll give it a go. Where you tuck one leg in and you tuck the other leg over. So you're trying to tuck your feet into each other. I can't do those. What I'm going to do because I've got restricted ankle mobility, I'm just going to do the ones where you place your feet. So these are known as abductor openers, hip openers. Place your feet in front and using your elbows, hold your toes with your hands, using your elbows, press. So I know some people can do these nice and low. Try and keep that back nice and straight, press down, and you should feel that stretch on the inside. You can hold that for 30 seconds and repeat it twice. Deep breath in and out. Here we go. Keep holding. If you do these regularly, you'll find that the flexibility will improve and it also reduces the risk of injury. So you gain more than what you lose. Over time, you can do these and hold this position for longer and longer. We can get someone to come and hold down for you. At the moment, because we are on our own, we're going to be using our elbows. Keep that back nice and straight. Three, two, one. Okay, another 30 seconds. Back nice and straight, push down with your elbows, feet together, bring them into the center as much as you can. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. We're going to do that just one more time. Nice straight back. Here we go. Just nice and proud. I'm holding on, but if you want, you can pull. But I find when I pull, I tend to arch my back. Just going to do them this way. You can still feel that stretch taking deep breaths in and out. Okay, five, four, three, 
two, and one. We're now going to be moving on to a little pose. So the first position we're going to adopt is going onto your knees. We can do our calm down, so I'm kneeling down. And what we're going to do next is come up. We're going to bring one leg forward. So we're going to take the right leg forward, put it down. And what we're going to do is put this hand down onto the floor, so the elbow right down, okay? So that elbow right down and that hand up. And what you'll feel is a stretch right down there, okay? So right down where the hip flexors are and up we go. You should really feel that stretch. The closer your elbow is to your hand, the more you feel that stretch. There we go. You feel it actually on both sides of the leg. So you feel it on both legs, the one in front and the one behind. Just gonna hold that for 10 seconds, three, two, one. There we go. Really find that stretched. So all the way down and then up we go. Keep this foot in front, nice and flat. There we go. And right up nice and straight. To make it easier, you can come up onto your hand. But to make it more advanced, come up onto the, uh, go down onto the elbow rather. There we go. Three, two, and one. Back again, we're going to swap. So always come in and out of the stretch nice and slow. Forward, so both hands down. Take one leg forward. So it's not going into the split. So you're coming, crossing the knee over and then keeping that leg as straight as you can behind you. What you'll find is stretch, just a slight stretch over here. You're going to lean forward and that deepens that stretch, okay? There we go. Just lean forward. And what we're going to do, stretch the back, we're going to lean over. So both your hands are going to move over to the side where the knee is bent over. Try and keep the glutes on the floor, keep that leg behind straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, nice and straight. What we're going to do to swap it over is just swap legs. There we go. So that leg goes back nice and flat, try and keep these glutes on the floor, and then lean forward, and then lean to the side. There we go, and hold that stretch. Smile. <laughs> there we go, keep holding. So it's really important that we stretch. So you can spend a whole session just stretching. You don't have to do the exercise. Exercising is important, but equally so is stretching. There we go, three, two, one, come back. Up we go, it's really stretching forward. Try and take that leg further back. You can take it off the floor. Three, two, one, up we go. Okay, to swap it over again. For one final time this time, I'm just going to be sitting up. Keep that leg as straight as you can. Behind. You can put it down onto the floor if you like. I find that I feel a greater stretch in the hip flexors. Try to keep it off the floor. Okay, this requires a bit of balance. Here we go. Five. You can have your hands up to the side. Four. Three. Two. One. Swap it over. There we go. But when you're stretching, you want to keep breathing in and out. There we go. Inhaling and exhaling. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. And thank you everyone for joining in today's class. Thank you everyone for taking part in today's stretch class. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find that useful. Now that we've finished stretching, don't forget to incorporate all these stretches at the end of your workout. Or you could include all these stretches in your own daily routines. It is important to stretch, so don't forget that. Thank you so much for taking part today. I hope you're all well. Stay active, stay safe and stay at home. Take care. Goodbye, everyone.